All right, now that we've created our view frames, we can go ahead and create our sheets. So just like when we created our sheets for our cross sections, when we create our sheets for our drawing in Civil 3D, Civil 3D is going to ask us to save the drawing once we create the sheets. I don't want to have these sheets in the drawing moving forward, so I'm going to save off a separate version of this drawing just for my sheets. So I'm going to go ahead and hit File, Save As. I'm going to save this as 102-Sheets, and I'm going to click Save. So from here, what we can do is we're going to go ahead and navigate up to the Output tab of the ribbon bar. We're going to click on Create Sheets, and we're going to navigate through the Create Sheets View Frame Group and Layouts window. So we're going to start in view frame groups and layouts. We'll go to sheet sets. Profile views won't show up because we only created plan view sheet sets. But if you had profile views and plan views or profile views only, this option would become available and you would set the options for how you want your profile views to show up in your sheet sets. The one important note to make inside of these, this one is that when you select profile views, you have to set your profile view origin. And so that is just the origin from where you place your profile view window. So moving on from here, what we're going to do in the view frames group is we are going to specify which view frame we want to use or which view frame group we want to use. We only have one. So we're going to choose our VFG devil line one. Uh, we are going to use all of the view frames that we've created. Now we have the option of how we want to lay these sheets out. Do we want to create one drawing per sheet? or the option of creating all the layouts in one new drawing, or do we want to create all the layouts in the current drawing? So if I didn't want to create a new version of this drawing and I, that I created here called 102 Sheets, I could have selected all layouts in one new drawing. It wouldn't have added any sheet sets to the drawing that I was working in, but we have this new one that's been created already, so I'm going to go ahead and add all the layouts in the current drawing. Probably if you were doing this for work, you would want to not create the extra sheet because you would be disrupting your references. And so you would want to go ahead and use the number of layouts per new drawing or all layouts in one new drawing. Or if you have very small amount of view groups like we have here, you could do all layouts in the current drawing. But for our purposes for these videos, I wanted to create one new, one new drawing and do it as all layouts in the current drawing. So from here, we're going to go ahead and choose our layout name. I'm going to call it Dev Sheets. And then choose the North Arrow block to align in layouts. There are a couple of North Arrow blocks that are in here. I'm going to go ahead and go with North. And I'm going to go ahead and click Next. So then from here, we have our sheet set options. Uh, we have a new sheet set or add to existing sheet set. We don't have any sheet sets, so we're going to go ahead and go as a new sheet set, and we're going to call it, we'll just call it Devil Line 1. And then the sheet set storage location, you can set yours to where you want to have it saved to. I have mine selected as where I'm saving my data sets to. So from here, we don't have any of the other options, so we would go ahead and click Create Sheets. I'm going to go jump back to view frame groups and I'm going to select all layouts in one new drawing so that the data references link shows back up. I'm going to go look at data references now. So when we create a new sheet to create these, these sheet sets in, if you want to take some of the information with you to that new drawing, Civil 3D will create data references and we're going to talk about these later, but Civil 3D will create the data references for you and bring those data references into your new drawing. So inside of this data references window, you can select all of the options that you, all the items that you want to have data references brought over into Civil 3D for you. Based on what we had selected in our view frame groups, Civil 3D already selects some of the options that we want to have transport it over, but if there were additional pieces of information you wanted to bring over, then you could select those options and have them also brought over as data references. So I'm going to go ahead and jump back into view frame group and layouts, and I'm going to go ahead and choose all layouts in current drawing, and then I'm going to go ahead and click create sheets. 
So Civil 3D is gonna ask me to complete this process by saving the drawing. I'm gonna click OK. Civil 3D is going to save the drawing and it is going to produce my two sheets. So I am getting a action warning that says two layouts were created in the current drawing and I'm gonna click check. And down here, I will see that I have a dev sheet set up for my first view frame here. And I have a dev sheet set up for my second view frame here with the borders that we had selected and it gave us new sheet numbers. So now if we go look in here, we should have sheet numbers showing up into our labels because we've now set up the sheets. So previous sheet number one, next sheet number two.